Did you ever think that the seaweed and the sushi you're eating could be changing the lives of people in the world's most remote places? Like here in West Papua, more than 3,000 kilometers from the Indonesian capital Jakarta. It's not only difficult to reach, but for decades it's been plagued by conflict. So it's been a challenge to create economic opportunities here. Until now, Iska Kendrayani is a buyer for one of Indonesia's biggest seaweed processors. She's never travelled this far east of Jakarta before, but she's come today because she's heard that the farmers here are producing seaweed of a surprising quality. And, she says, the $6 billion a year global seaweed industry has the potential to pull these neglected coastal communities out of obscurity. Coastal communities are no longer marginalized communities. They have a great chance to improve their living conditions. And one way is through seaweed. In 2012, Indonesia's seaweed exports were worth almost $180 million. And this year, the country aims to more than double its 2012 production figures, vying to become the world's biggest seaweed producer. So to source more high-quality seaweed, buyers like Iskak now have to travel further afield. Seaweed farmer Hassan Basri Hiremba finds it hard to believe that the buyer has come to them. I dreamed that one day the buyer would come, and thank God it has happened. I feel very proud because before it was just in my imagination that I would meet the buyer. One reason for Basri's surprise is that just three years ago, the people in this village knew nothing at all about seaweed. They were fishermen and relied on irregular seasonal catches to survive. Then a government project, supported by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, worked with the community to help them identify their problems and come up with their own solutions. From the success of neighbouring communities, they knew that seaweed was the answer. They elected Abdul Halik Golab to be trained in all aspects of seaweed production, and his job is to pass on this knowledge to the rest of the group. The change in their lives has been significant. Before I didn't have enough income for my children to go to school, but with seaweed, our children can go to university. Unlike when they relied on fishing, the seaweed farmers now have earnings throughout the year. And both Golap and Basri have almost quadrupled their incomes. And after today, it looks like their incomes will keep growing, because Iskak, the buyer, is very impressed with what she has seen. If the community welcomes our initiative to work together and they can produce enough seaweed from this area, we want to build a long relationship with them so they become a fixture of the company and the company can depend on them. And it looks like the community will certainly welcome this initiative. When the company has a direct collaboration with us, we can change the face of this village. We can build better houses. We can expand our planting areas to grow more. In fact, Basri is so convinced about the future of seaweed that he is already involving his whole family in the business. I'm hoping that if I teach my children about the planting of the seaweed, they can pass it on to their children. That's my goal. And with the next generation already learning the ropes, seaweed can become a sustainable business here, giving young people a good reason to remain in this remote village and help Indonesia reach its goal to become the world's biggest seaweed producer.